In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a normal line. So let me just give you some background information on this. Let's say we have the curve y is equal to x squared. And we want to find the normal line at some point. Let's say at this point. The tangent line is the line that intersects this curve at one point. I'm going to put t for tangent. The normal line, which I'm going to draw in blue, it is the line that is perpendicular to the tangent line. So let's say that the slope of the tangent line is positive 4 over 5. The slope of the normal line is going to be the reciprocal, the negative reciprocal of this value, negative 5 over 4. But the point of intersection is the same. So that's what you need to know about this type of problem. Once you calculate the slope of the tangent line at, let's say, in this case, x equals 2, you need to find the negative reciprocal of that. That's going to give you the slope of the normal line. And then using the point, you can write the equation of the normal line with this formula. All you need is the xy coordinate where the normal line touches the curve, and you need the slope of the normal line. So let me uh, show you how to do that with this particular problem. So first we need the point. We have the x coordinate of the point but not the y coordinate. To find the y coordinate we can plug in our x value into that formula. So let's replace x with 2. So this is going to be 2 to the third minus 4 times 2 squared plus 5. 2 to the third power that's 2 times 2 times 2 that's 8. 2 squared is 4. And then 4 times 4 is 16. 8 minus 16 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. So the y-coordinate is negative 3. Thus, we have the point 2, negative 3. Now, the next thing we need to do is calculate the slope of the tangent line, which will help us get the slope of the normal line. We can get the slope of the tangent line by taking the first derivative of the function. Keep in mind, the derivative of a variable raised to a constant, such as x raised to the n, is going to be n times x raised to the n minus 1. So the derivative of x cubed is going to be 3x, 3 minus 1, or 2. The derivative of x squared is going to be 2x to the first power. And the derivative of a constant, like 5, is 0. So the first derivative of this function is going to be 3x squared minus 8x. Now to get the slope of the tangent line, we're going to plug in x equals 2. So this is going to be 3 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2. So 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, and 8 times 2 is 16. 12 minus 16 is negative 4. So negative 4 is the slope of the tangent line. To calculate the slope of the normal line, we're going to change the sign from negative to positive. And we're going to reciprocate 4, or flip it over 1, which will make it 1 over 4. I mean, flip it under 1, rather. So that is the slope of the normal line. It's positive 1 over 4. So in order to write the equation of any line, all we need is the slope of the line and a point on the line. And we could define any line. So let's use the point slope formula. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So y1 is, this is going to be y1, and that's x1. y1 is negative 3, m is 1 over 4, and x1 is 2. So two negative signs will change into a positive sign. So this is going to be y plus 3. And then we're going to distribute the fraction to x minus 2. So this is going to be 1 over 4x. 1 over 4 times negative 2. That's negative 2 over 4, which reduces to negative 1 half. Now the next thing we're going to do is subtract both sides by 3. So we have y is equal to 1 fourth x. Negative 1 half minus 3 
3 can be written as 6 over 2. So this becomes negative 7 over 2. This is the answer in slope-intercept form. By the way, if you, you can also leave your answer in point-slope form, especially if you're dealing with a multiple-choice test. So you could write your answer like this as well. Both answers are correct. They're simply different ways of representing them. And so that's basically it. That's how you could find the equation of a normal line if you're given a curve and either the x value or the entire point at which you need to find the normal line. Now, for the sake of practice, let's go ahead and work on another example. Number two, find the equation of the normal line to the curve y equals 3x squared minus 5x minus 7 at x equals 3. So let's begin by calculating the y value when x is 3. So we're going to have 3 times 3 squared minus 5 times 3 minus 7. 3 squared is 9. 5 times 3 is 15. And 3 times 9 is 27. I'm going to reverse the order of these two to make the operation easier. 27 minus 7 is 20, and 20 minus 15 is 5. So we got the point 3, comma 5. So that's where we want to find the equation of the normal line. That's where it touches the curve. So now the next thing we need to do is calculate the first derivative and use that to determine the slope of the tangent line. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of x is 1. For those of you who want to know why, here's what you can do. So moving the 1 to the front, and then we're going to have x. 1 minus 1 is 0. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So you just get 1. And the derivative of a constant is 0. Using the power rule, here's one way to show it. So negative 7 is equivalent to negative 7 times x raised to 0. Moving the 0 to the front, we have negative 7 times 0, x to the minus 1, which will equal 0. So right now we have that the first derivative is going to be 6x minus 5. Now let's replace x with 3 to get the slope of the tangent line. So it's going to be 6 times 3 minus 5. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 minus 5 is 13. Now the slope of the normal line is going to be negative 1 of or divided by the slope of the tangent line. So it's negative 1 divided by 13. So now we have everything that we need. We got the slope of the normal line and we have the point at which it meets up with the curve. So now let's use the point slope formula. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. y1 is 5, m is negative 1 over 13, and x1 is 3. So if we want the answer in point slope form, we could leave it like this. But let's get it in slope intercept form. So let's distribute negative 1 over 13 to x and to negative 3. So negative 1 times negative 3, that's going to be positive 3, but over 13. Now the next thing that we need to do is add 5 to both sides. So we're going to have y is equal to negative 1 over 13x. Now 3 over 13 plus 5. I'm going to write 5 as 5 over 1. And then I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 13. 5 times 13. 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 3 is 15. Add in 50 plus 15 gives us 65. Now that we have the same denominator, we can add the numerators of the two fractions. So 3 plus 65 is 68. So this is plus 68 over 13. So that's how we can write 
the equation of the normal line for this particular problem in slope intercept form. So that's it for this video. The next video that I'm going to create related to this topic is finding the slope of a secant line. So if you want to do a YouTube search on that, just type in how to find the slope of a secant line, organic chemistry tutor, and it should come up. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.